welcome to the channel. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Today's review, uh, I'm very excited about. It's going to be on a Proxima watch. Now this Proxima watch, I've had my eyes on it ever since it came out. Uh, and the watch in question is the Samurai Homage that Proxima do. Uh, it's in bronze. Uh, and I'm sure if you are familiar with Proxima, you definitely have seen this watch on their site on AliExpress. Now, box warranty card and instruction manual. That's what you get from Proxima. Now these boxes, we've seen them uh, time and time again, so I'm not gonna talk any more about this, but this is how the watch arrives, so we can move that out the way. Um, interesting point. Um, now I don't know if they just do that for me, um, if I'm that special, but Proxima do, when you do order from them, they do give you a picture of your watch uh, as it's been assembled, and they also give you a nice little uh, picture of your watch uh, on the time graph telling you what it currently is running at so that's a nice little feature from proxima and they've done that on every watch that i've bought to date uh, and i might put a picture up uh, there for you guys to see so the watch in question this is this butte as mentioned the day it came out i've been watching this for a few months now um you know i'm a big fan of the seiko samurai so at this point i'll give you guys a wrist check so it seems appropriate that the watch i'm wearing today is the Seiko Samurai and I'm reviewing Proxima's interpretation of the Seiko Samurai. Now to, to my knowledge I think Proxima is the only brand that has done a Samurai homage um, and you know I'm in love with it. I was in love with it when I saw it in pictures um, but you know this is um, the NH36 version as well so there's a whole host of features as you can see this dial is not a typical dial that you see on most of the watches so we're going to go into details on this as well so before i go any further before i go into the review if you haven't done so already if you're a new uh, person on this channel please hit the subscribe button also hit the notifications bell so you're up to date with all the latest reviews and while you're there remember to check the description uh, not only does the description have information it also has links so i'll be putting the affiliated link for this watch um, which will take you over to the aliexpress store and uh, now that link is affiliated if you don't know what that means by now what that basically means is aliexpress give me a small kickback by way of a small commission for sending orders their way um, so but, i mean that being said a lot of youtubers do that and you know don't think that's going to have any impact on where i go with this review uh, for those subscribers that have been subscribers to my channel for a while you know my style now um, I don't need to say, it beca it's become very cliche, you know, honest reviews, but you know, you know how, how my reviews go anyway. So yeah, if you could do that and support the channel, that would be very much appreciated. Also, let me know your thoughts as always in the comment section and remember to like the video if it's indeed something that you do like. At this point, it's also worth mentioning Proxima do have a website, but I don't tend to recommend people to the website. Uh, main reason being, I had a complaint uh, from a subscriber well it wasn't a complaint to me but they just mentioned that they had a, a slight dispute running with Proxima uh, because they bought a watch from their site which wasn't being resolved now you've got to understand when you go away from AliExpress um, that's gonna happen then it's just between you and Proxima uh, and it's about how much fuss and noise you actually make for them to do anything about it it also depends on the problem now uh, I stick to using AliExpress because they do have this claimed uh, refunds process. Now, again, people have said they've not gotten very far with that, but it, it depends, right? Uh, it depends how you approach the issue. Every time I've done it, I've had to do it. Uh, AliExpress has been quite good, um, where majority of the time I've gotten a full refund, um, you know, because I think sometimes they hold the seller's money in the case of a dispute so that's like a little safeguard there so if you're not fully confident to order from china that's why i've taken you over to the aliexpress store uh, and the add bonus there for me is as i mentioned a small kickback by way of commission so you know now that's all out the way let's get to the review let's talk about the specifications of the watch so this watch um it has a nh36 movement which is the same as the nh35 the seiko epson 24 joule movement which hand winds and hacks uh, it beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour which translates into a sweep of six ticks per second it's a very robust and very reliable movement people yes they call it boring uh, that's just because they, they use this movement in in so many watches out there yes it is boring but it is super super reliable definite workhorse 
and you know servicing doesn't even come into it to be honest because one i've had watches seiko watches which i've been running for 20 years um believe that or not and then even as far as servicing goes you just replace the movement movements are like 20 25 pounds depending on where you get it from so you know it's very cheap and you know it gives you the features that you want in a modern watch and it's super super reliable now further to that movement um this case as you can see is a bronze cu sn8 case which is a tin and bronze um, alloy so what that means is you will get gradual patina developing uh, on this watch by way of ox oxidization so you know when you touch it with your base skin the oils on your skin the air moisture everything's going to interact with it if you want to reset it back to zero uh, i've read that you can use uh, lemon juice vinegar something acidic soak it leave it overnight and it should reset the patina however there's a lot of people out there that like to force the patina and they like to see the whole um you know oxidiz oxidization take place now after the case um you've got a sapphire bezel insert we'll cover that in depth on the review uh, you've also got a 120 click bezel unidirectional of course and you've got a rating of 300 meters of water resistance and then you've got a screw down crown to support that case back stainless steel um i think that the proxima store says it's titanium but you know i think this when i do feel this part of the dolphin it does feel different it doesn't feel like stainless steel but you know who knows and and I think that's about it in terms of specifications. Let's move on to dimensions. And you've got a diameter of 42 millimeters. You've got a case thickness of 14 millimeters and a log to log of 47 millimeters. You've got a log width of 22 millimeters. So dimensionally, I think this watch is very, very safe uh, to wear on a smaller wrist and I can tell you straight off the bat that it is quite close to the original watch as well. Right, let's go in closer and take a look at this gorgeous, gorgeous dial. Now straight away, obviously, you can see the dial is red. You've got this absolutely gorgeous tone of red, deep burgundy red, uh, and it's a sunray dial as well. Uh, and that catches the light amazingly well. Um, you also got a chapter ring, which is a color match to the dial for the most part with printed um, markers around the side of the chapter ring you also got a printed logo at the 12 o'clock and a printed logo at six which says professional 300 meters now you'll also notice in the center of the dial you've got these printed concentric circles now this is a upgrade to the dial it wasn't available on the original dial now they've done that to increase legibility of that day disc in the center we'll talk about that just in a short while so as well as this gorgeous red dial, you've also got these applied indices our our markers. So you've got a mix of baton indices with these elongated triangles. I think they're called trapezoids. And yes, they are applied. And so they've also got this um, silver polished frame around every single hour marker. Because that chapter ring is stuck to the dial, you do see a bit of bronze in the rehort area of the watch. And you'll also see the date, which is at the 6 p.m. location. And the date has been also color matched uh, and it's got white writing. Um, so the date has got good visibility. And I like the fact that they've color matched it to the dial. Now, let's just look in at the day function. You can see you've got cutouts on the dial that show all the days of the week. And you can just barely make out just behind the dial. There's a illuminated uh, date disc, which turns as the time changes and we'll look at the feature just slightly later in the review um, but that's around the center of the dial it's a very unique feature uh, and i don't think i've seen this anywhere and the last thing we're going to look at is just look at the handset now they have used traditional marine master style hands and you've got a hour hand minute hand and the second hand with the traffic lights uh, but with the hour and minute hand you can see that fine detail and you can see that the center of the hands is brushed uh, linear brushing and then you've got these chamfered edges which are being highly polished so there's great attention to detail on these hands and these hands are present on a lot of the models as well so it's not something they've done new um, this dial also is available on a lot of the models as well just now just take a look at this amazing loom on the dial and also on that sapphire bezel 
that's the benefit of having a sapphire bezel you can see the minute markers all around the bezel with that 12 o'clock clip as well very well illuminated you can also see every single hour marker look at the hands everything is superbly well lit the, the loom used is c3 super luminova and just look at the day and date function that's pretty well lit as well and you can see it says clearly wednesday and the 13th all of it illuminated now this is the party trick that this proxima is going to bring you i think at night time this watch just looks absolutely exceptional and it is one of the best looms that you're going to see now the watch comes with a double dome ar coated sapphire crystal and it's also got a chamfered edge so you've got great attention to detail on that crystal and with awesome fit and finish let's move over to the bezel and see what the action is like as mentioned it's a 120 click unidirectional dive bezel and for the most part the action is actually quite good uh, it's just a touch loose but it is accurate as you can see here it does line up exactly and it does have zero playback now bronze bezels do have a slightly different feel and sound to uh, usual stainless steel bezels that's due to the material and of course the density of the material will give you a different sound and on the bezel insert you can see this is a coke bezel insert so from the 0 to 20 minutes you've got a red um, inlay within the sapphire bezel insert and the rest is black it also has a illuminated pip at the top of the clock as you saw in the loom shot the whole bezel is illuminated now the bezel insert you've got six options from proxima uh, i'll show you a picture of those just now all the options for the most part are actually quite decent and just look at the knurling around the bezel which is quite similar to the samurai there's me pressing down on it and that's because there's a very very slight play on that uh, maybe it's not as uh, super tight as it needs to be so these are all the variants that you can get with the bezel insert so let's start off from top left to right top to bottom first one you've got a gilt bezel insert with a 12 o'clock pip uh, and the second one you've got a pepsi bezel insert sapphire which is going to be illuminated and after that you've got the coke which is the one i have again sapphire and illuminated now at the bottom left you've got that gilt uh, bezel insert uh, and the triangle at the top is illuminated and after that you've got a fully illuminated bezel insert and it's not gilt it's just going to be this creamy white um, with a hint of green uh, just to show the full illumination on the bezel insert personally for me i think uh, it's between the coke bezel and that gilt um, bezel insert in ceramic with that illuminated uh, triangle at the 12 o'clock right so let's move over to the actual case and look closer at the construction now as mentioned it is cusn8 bronze uh, you've got a titanium case back and uh, to me it looks like stainless steel or titanium as it says on the site uh, and you've got obviously the design cues they have been taken from the seiko samurai so it's homaged it pretty well of course you've got those look at those lugs you've got those straight cuts that go on either side and you've got brushing around the a face and when the logs uh, cut down and around the side of the case you've got linear uh, lateral brushing and you've got this center of the case which is uh, polished now you can clearly see with these close-up shots that how well that this watch has actually been constructed there as you can see the center of the case which i was talking about is polished and you know where the side of the logs you've got that brushing now for the most part you might lose all that fine detail when the watch does start to oxidize but you know let's see how this watch does oxidize let's see how it goes it's worth paying very close attention to the actual construction just look at that knurling around the bezel and you know there's no sharpness on this actual case there is quite an achievement uh you know uh, the way they've constructed all the angles and how they've done it just right uh, they've also homaged the functionality of the Seiko Samurai where you can see the drilled uh, end logs which is of course preferred as it makes changing straps a lot easier. Well, let's take a look at this functionality now. So you screw, unscrew the crown and just wait for that to pop out. Uh, the crown screw down action is actually quite good. Uh, it's been machined quite well. So um, you can hand wind it and then you pull it out once and uh, that should enable you to change the date. Now you'll see that little bit of you know uh, white behind the date disc well first of all let's change the date at the bottom so you can see that's flicking through nicely and it's pretty well aligned for the most part as well and then if you turn the crown the opposite way you'll see that illuminated day disc moving through that circle 
and illuminating the date that you'll be on. Also, you click out fully and then you can change the time. Uh, the functionality is great, obviously it works. It's an NH36 movement after all, um, albeit it has been modified by Proxima, which is again, a great touch. And screw back down, as mentioned, the thread is quite smooth. It's also worth mentioning that the actual uh, crown from the inside and the threads, they are stainless steel, so they won't be oxidizing. So you have nothing to worry about in terms of functionality there. Finally, let's look at the strap used. It's a waffle style strap, which we're not unfamiliar with. There's a slight taper from the end of the log and you've also got matching hardware with the exact same kind of bronze. And on that clasp, on that buckle, sorry, you can see that it's been brushed and you've got polished sides. Now at the back of the waffle strap, you can see the Proxima logo and it is a quite a thick strap, uh, very sturdy. And I think it's the right option for this watch. Right, that's it for the review. Uh, just want to apologise actually, there's a lot of fireworks going on at the moment. Uh, clearly the neighbours didn't get my memo that I'm doing a video, so uh, that you know they need to keep it down. Um, but yeah, wrist shot. Um, wrist is six and a half inches. Uh, I usually do wrist shots outdoors, but the weather in the UK is nasty at the moment, so I can't really go out there. Um, but yeah, six and a half inch uh, fits really well. Um, dimensions, like I said, they are close to the original. Uh, and I've been wearing it and you know, I don't feel much difference between the now the strap Very comfortable as well. It's a waffle strap um, and for the most part these straps, you know fit pretty much anything and they look good on quite a lot of watches It brings it back gives it more of a vintage look um, You are kind of limited with the strap choices when it comes to bronze watches Obviously you can't have a bronze strap uh, or a you know metal uh, bracelet, but you can also choose uh, a NATO You can also choose a paratrooper strap something which is on the original watch that I've got um, so yeah it's about just choosing what you like I think for the most part this is good um, and now let's let's try to summarize let's uh, let's talk about things I don't like on the watch now the only thing that I don't like is the center and that day function uh, in the daytime it is absolutely useless you saw on the loom that it does illuminate pretty well once you do get it indoors or it's dark uh, but yeah, in, even though those concentric circles are there uh, and they did change that to kind of correct that legibility problem uh, because on the previous style that wasn't there. Uh, yeah, it, it hasn't really sorted it because that illumination is just not, um, how can I say, it's not bright enough to see. You can see it on camera, but you know, in the daytime, you have to look kind of close at it just to uh, see what date it is. Um, but the date function is fine. Um, that's one thing. Now, the other thing which... Um, you can sort of see in the pictures as well that the crown i think it's a touch too long on the pictures it looks a lot longer um but in real life it isn't as long but it's just i'd say about a mil you know about a mil and a half it could do with shaving down uh, proxima we're talking about reducing the size of that but i think I'd, i had a follow-up conversation with them and they said they, they're not going to go through with it because i think it's you know, it, there's a lot of tooling mods involved. There's a lot of modification actually involved uh, from once you initially make something uh, for you to then change that tool. And it's, it's a lot of investment as well. So, you know, you have to take that into consideration. Um, it doesn't dig into your hand or anything. It's okay. You know, you only really notice it if it's been pointed out as much. So those are the two things. Um, other than that, I absolutely love everything else about the watch. Uh, in particular, you know, how well they've managed to homage it to the original, um, just the angles and all the fine detail, as I mentioned, when you're talking about the case, the brushing and you know, all those little features. Um, the case back is okay as well. It's got that 3D dolphin, looks a lot better than what they used to have. Um, and I love that dial, I love that red. Uh, and I like that they've done, you know, they've modified the NH36 and they've done something different, um, which does show with Proxima, they do have an enthusiastic approach to the products uh, that's because i think the owner you know he was a he is a seiko fan so i like these little features i like that proxima have done this um you know i love the case i love how they've tried to keep it close um at least in terms of the case with the knurling on the crown and the knurling on the bezel to the original and uh, this dial this is what proxima do i think they use the same dials on a lot of models so the, when they've done this red dial, they also produce a silver or a champagne color dial. Now, that's uh, also rolled out uh, across a lot of their models, the MM300 um, homage, for example, and the tuna homages. But on this Samurai, it looks absolutely fantastic and it matches this Coke bezel really well.
um, and that's it overall I think an improvement on this um, strap would be if they could get a fitted you know um, curved end lug fitted straps that you get from like, for example crafter blue straps um, but in a waffle style so if they try to make something bespoke for this watch that would just be the icing on the cake um, yeah there's nothing else to say on it you know I'm a big fan of this watch and I also have uh, a different version of this so I did uh, point that out in a, another review that I've done so I'll be reviewing that and I'll be comparing it of course to the original Seiko Samurai and see how close it really is and how it compares against that so as always thank you everybody for tuning in and watching the review and let me know your thoughts on the comment section check the description where you'll have the affiliated links for AliExpress and I'll see you on the next review